much prestige in class they couldn't do me for shit. That's when I jumped in a fat girl's hoopty and then we dipped to the next. Hey. Hey. Man, who's this square motherfucker? Oh. Hey, I heard you might be uh might be the man with the plan. Maybe you could help me out with something. Oh, that's what you heard, huh? What you five oh? Whoa, hey man, nah, look, I'm not looking for crack, bro. Whisper sent me. Told me you might have a certain sought after drum machine. Oh, Whisper sent you, huh? Shit, why don't you say so, dog? You need some heat? Wait, man, we'll feast your eyes on this potent pattern producer. Damn, dude, what's that bammer ass PC in box, bro? That thing is worse than a Casio, I'll pass. I feel insulted. What, what you mean? This shit knocks too hard for you? Oh, yeah, man. Hey, I don't want it blowing out my studio monitors, dude. Hey, check it out, man. Where's the heat? Oh, so you do want some crack, huh? What, you little crystal? Is <laughs> that your thing, dog? <laughs> nah, man. Look, I came to see the doctor. The doctor of rhythm, preferably. Shit, why don't you say so, doc? Hey, 50 cash or 100 food stamp? All I got is 40, man. Chiseling ass mother. Hey, so so then you did want the super drum. That's what you wanted? All right, all right, hold up, hold up. 45. All right, man, look, look, look. 45 and a double gulp of Pepsi, man. My baby boo's finna be off work here in 20 minutes. She gonna be thirsty as hell, dog. Look, man. I don't want to hear about this shit. Just take the 50. Oh, man, 50. All right, then, Pippin. Hey, all right, then, man. Hey, you got yourself Fly double fill in the box right here. Hey, man, make it hit, player. A straight 90s classic. An essential golden era rap drum machine. It was not marketed for strictly rap, but ended up being a must-have for any early urban underground rap artist. It was one of the most affordable 808 kits at the time, made with pitching and decay controls on every sound. The Boss DR550 also had an 808 kit in it, but you couldn't pitch the sounds up or down on it. Until the missing link came out, that's the Boss DR660. A must have for any bedroom slash hood producer, but also to the contrary, this was used in many dance house tracks as well. Jean Michael Jarre and a large list of other EDM artists have also used Used it in recordings which one could argue the machine was built for these genres due to the 808 and the 909 kits it was also reported that the famous roger lynn worked on and or designed the dr660 but is that true i'm not sure leave a comment if you know because of its affordability and iconic pitchable drum sounds it was a big part of 90s rap production Mostly notable in Memphis rap, such as DJ Spanish Fly, Mac DLE, DJ Zerk, Shoddy Pimp, and MC Spade, and of course, Tommy Wright III. We um, used four tracks. We used the little samplers, bosses, DR5s, DR660s. The Dirty South didn't have all that fancy gear the East and the West Coast rappers had at the time. Even the samplers were cheap Gemini samplers. I personally worked all of my 8th grade summer picking berries and painting trailers in my grandma's trailer park to purchase a Gemini PS676 DJ mixer with a built-in 12-bit, 12-second sampler that I saw in the back of a Source magazine. So some of these budget production techniques really strike close to home. But back to the DR660. Some say it helped birth the trap drill style sound we are familiar with today. I'd probably have to agree somewhat. Let's dive into some of my favorite kits.
Let's talk now about the Boss DS330 also coming out in 1992 and having the same look as the Boss DR660. It's almost like the Boss, or Roland, whatever you want to call him, thought they could make a matching tabletop synth to the DR660 and people would lose their shit and want a Dr. Synth to be paired up with whatever Dr. Rhythm was released going forward. Well, where are the other Dr. Synths? Why was this the only one released? Also, is this the only synthesizer to carry the boss name? Making it the only boss synthesizer ever made? Questions great philosophers often wonder. The Boss DS330 shares some of the same sound engines as the Roland SC33 sound canvas. You of course need an external MIDI keyboard to play it, but it allows you to play the built-in pads if you put it on drum kit mode. One of the kits provided is a unique 808 kit, which sounds different from the 808 kit built into the Dr. 660. Now let's go ahead and check out some of the sounds in the Boss DS330. Alright guys, now you know the keyboard kingpin could not resist making a beat with the Boss DR660 and the Boss DS330. Combining the two, can we make a dope track? Uh, you know, I also fed these through Rolanda, which you're gonna see in a video here real soon. But go ahead and check out the beat.
Boss Doctor Scent DS330 and the Boss Doctor Rhythm DR660, both classic iconic 90s units. Uh, you can feed these via MIDI sequencer, um, you know, with like Logic, uh, Reason, anything like that. So they're still relevant in today's production world. I recommend if you see one of these for under $100, you grab it, this and this unit right here. I like to feed them through Rolanda, which I've been teasing you guys about Rolanda, but you're going to see more of her real soon. I promise the video's coming. But go ahead and like and subscribe. Until I see you again, it's the Keyboard Kingpin. We out. Peace. <laughs>